Hey there, freaking nerds. I have some news that is sad. NVIDIA just announced that version 580 will be the last driver version supported for the GTX 900 and the 10 series, which includes the GTX 1080 Ti and the 980 Ti and the Titan X, as well as the Volta GPUs, which is like the super high-end enterprise GPUs. Volta was the first architecture to have their tensor cores before Turing came out with the RTX series and also added RT cores on top of that. But yeah, the most recent drivers currently out for NVIDIA are the version 576.88, and so they still have yet to release the last driver revision for these graphics cards. But when they do finish the 580 branch and move on to version 590, version 590 will not support Maxwell, Pascal, and Volta GPUs. And as much as I want to complain that they're ending driver support, for the GTX 1080 Ti, especially since that's what I have, that's what I'm using right now, so it is a little sad for me. But for once, NVIDIA actually deserves credit for supporting these GPUs for as long as they did. The GTX 980 Ti, especially, that card came out in 2015, I think? Yeah, 2015. And so 10 years of up-to-date drivers with game-ready drivers, that's, that's not bad. And it's actually better than what AMD has done for their GPUs. AMD's competing GPU, the R9 Fury X, that came out in the same year, around the same time, it lost driver support all the way back in 2022. So it got a few less years of driver support. Same thing goes if you compare something like the GTX 1060 to the RX 480. Those were competing cards, like competing cards with architectures that came out around the same time. And the GTX 1060, just like the 1080 Ti, still supports the most recent driver version up until the 580 release whenever that comes out, which will be the last revision. Whereas AMD's Polaris GPUs, the RX 480 and the RX 580, those both lost driver support earlier this year. So it looks like the last release for them, or at least the last version number for them is 25.5. And that since then, AMD's moved on to 25.6 a month later. So these are still very modern drivers. You know, they're not going to have any problems for a while. Plus these GPUs are actually fully supported and up to date on Linux still. They're, they get full driver support with the AMD GPU driver on Linux. So that's cool and that'll probably continue for a long time. Maybe I don't talk about it enough on the channel, but I give Nvidia a lot of shit. But what I've realized is something that they deserve credit for is supporting their GPUs for a long time. And it's usually a few years longer than AMD's competing GPUs. And that's a trend that has been going on for a while. Even with the GTX 480, came out in 2010, competing with the HD 6970. 6970 lost support in 2015 or 2016, depending on how you want to measure it. Whereas the 480 had driver support up until 2018. So it's not hugely different, but you know, two more years, that's same with the R9 290X, came out in 2013, same with the GTX 780 Ti. The 290X lost support in 2022, whereas the GTX 780 Ti got driver support up until 2024. Even if it does seem like it's on an older branch, it was still getting security updates, I guess. So I just thought that that was an interesting comparison. NVIDIA gets a lot of hate for being anti-consumer, and I think they are in a lot of ways, but they deserve credit for the things that they do good. It seems like AMD's GPUs have more of a tendency to get performance improvements from new drivers over time compared to NVIDIA's GPUs, which don't generally get more performance in existing games, and they mostly get game-ready drivers for new games, which is great. It's mostly what you need. But yeah, like right here, I just learned about the new RDNA 4 cards, the RX 9070, getting a driver update like, like yesterday that improved its performance by like 15% or something like that. Hardware Unboxed showed that off right here where, wow, that's, holy shit, that's a almost 30% improvement. Wow in this game, but normally I think it's a little smaller. Although interestingly, it seems like the 5070 also might have gotten a little bit faster since its release also. But anyway, now that makes the RX 9070 even more competitive with the 5070 and the 5070 Ti than it was before. So that's kind of what I'm talking about there. 
I know that happened at least once with their Polaris architecture. But yeah, that whole narrative about NVIDIA actually supporting their GPUs with drivers for a few years longer kind of puts a damper on the whole AMD fine wine narrative because NVIDIA apparently supports their GPUs for a few years longer than AMD does. But it does seem like AMD's GPUs might improve more over time from release with driver support than NVIDIA's GPUs do, despite them losing driver support sooner. So now the GTX 16 series will be the only GTX GPUs with up-to-date drivers pretty soon. The Turing GPUs will be the last ones to support NVIDIA's most recent drivers for a little bit longer, or probably as long as the RTX 20 series is supported. So actually probably for a while, at least another two or three years. But yeah, my GTX 1080 Ti, it's it's not going to get many more drivers. It's still supported for now. But you might have heard about that NVIDIA's most recent drivers, even on their RTX 50 series, have actually been really problematic for some people. Just their most recent drivers have been kind of buggy. And I think I was having a problem with Cyberpunk actually getting like terrible performance on the most recent drivers. So I actually downgraded to version 56636. So that's the one that I'm running right now. So maybe we don't even want new drivers from NVIDIA. We'll make our own drivers with hookers and blackjack. Just kidding. Although that is what some community members did for AMD's old GPUs, is they backport new versions of AMD's drivers to their older graphics cards, including GCN1 and even their TerraScale GPUs, which is like the 6000 series. But yeah, so that's really interesting, this project, how they backport new features and new game-ready drivers and game profiles from the new drivers to, to these old graphics cards that are no longer supported by AMD, but they're supported by the community, which is different even from the community support that these GPUs get on Linux with the AMD GPU driver. So even though these GPUs don't have support from AMD anymore, because of AMD's more open source and open nature, it's actually possible for the community to come together and do a lot of work to get new games and new drivers and features to work on old hardware. So anyway, yeah, go community, go open source. And it's a sad day for my GTX 1080 Ti. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe he just wants to stay on version 5.6.6. I think that's the. I think that's what's going to happen. Good guy Nvidia for supporting the GTX 980 Ti for 10 years with game ready drivers. I mean that's what I'm Banana Man was using up until recently. But that's it. Peace.